During my second year in graduate school, I almost fainted during class while watching a video of an animal sacrifice. See, I was taking a Greco-Roman religion class, and my professor was trying to explain the nitty-gritty details of animal sacrifice. Why did the Romans do this? How did the ritual really play out? Living in the sanitized world of Boston, Massachusetts, I had never witnessed such a thing, and I really had no idea what an animal sacrifice might look like. So she pulled up this video, the sacrifice of a goat in a West Bengal town. Trigger warning, major trigger warning, a goat gets beheaded in this video. Please don't watch it if you can't handle that. And she gave us the same trigger warning. She said she could have found a lot more brutal, gory videos, but this one is pretty tame. But if you can't handle it, there's no shame to close your eyes or look away. We'll just discuss the video afterwards. I, of course, would do no such thing as a self-respecting future scholar of ancient religion would watch the ritual with the objectivity of an anthropologist as the guy flicked water on the goat, prayed over it, and then chopped its head off. At first, this didn't bother me at all. As a future scholar of religion, I sat back and thought about the ritual. Wow, what an interesting combination of a water ritual and an incantation to a deity. Wow, fascinating. But as I sat there mulling over the ritual, watching the twitching body of the goat, huh, the body really does twitch. I started feeling lightheaded. The voice of the professor felt weirdly distant, and I realized I was about to faint. The only PhD student in a room full of undergraduates was about to faint. So I stared really hard at my iPad, pretending to take notes until the feeling passed. Thank goodness. But why this reaction? All of you who live in a society where the public slaughtering of animals is a common occurrence are probably laughing at me, but hey, give me a break. I live in an American city where even our meat comes in nicely vacuum sealed packages. But a thousand years ago, two thousand years ago, this would have been a common occurrence in cultures worldwide. Native Americans in the American Southwest probably sacrifice dogs. Ritual burials of dogs appear starting around 2,500 years ago, buried in ceremonial structures. Incan communities in the Andean Mountains sacrificed llamas, alpacas, and guinea pigs. The Sami people of Northern Europe sacrificed reindeer. But yet we read about these rituals without making any sense of them. And in fact, from our modern perspective, these rituals strike us as inhumane, brutal animal cruelty. So what's the deal with animal sacrifice? What are the origins of this ritual? and why did human societies worldwide practice ritual slaughter for literally thousands of years? Animal sacrifice, the ritualized slaughtering of an animal, may be one of humanity's oldest rituals. But how old are we talking? As far as the archaeological evidence goes, we can probably never pinpoint an exact date when humans started ritually slaughtering animals. But the debate hinges on before or after the pre-pottery Neolithic B period in the Near East. Basically, before or after humans domesticated animals. The evidence for before this period is pretty sparse, but there are a few scholars who support a Paleolithic origins of animal sacrifice. A commonly cited case comes from Stelmore, Germany, where 12 complete reindeer skeletons were discovered in an ancient lake bed. Large stones were found inside the chest cavities of these reindeer, which might suggest the purposeful weighting down and sinking of the carcasses as an offering by early humans, or maybe even Neanderthals. The scholar Walter Burkert, a historian of ancient Greece, also suggests suggests that a site in Siberia, where they found 27 woolly mammoth skulls all situated around a single statue, might suggest a mass ritualized slaughter of woolly mammoths. I'm including a link in the description below if you want to read his whole argument, but in short, he argues that animal sacrifice originated as an outgrowth of humanity's early hunter-gatherer history, because these early humans started to view killing as something sacred. It supposedly fostered group identity, cooperation, and was an outlet for their killing instinct as hunters. However, later scholars are not convinced. The evidence from the Paleolithic period is just way too sparse to make such definitive 
primitive claims. Almost all animal sacrifice that we see throughout history involve domesticated animals and not wild animals. One of the greatest religious studies scholars, Jay-Z Smith, is especially skeptical of the pre-domestication theory of sacrifice. I know of no unambiguous instance of animal sacrifice performed by hunters. Animal sacrifice appears to be universally the ritual killing of domesticated animals by agrarian or pastoral societies. Jay-Z Smith goes on to say that almost all instances of animal sacrifice involve some sort of complex ideologies that we see from more settled civilizations, such as what we see in the laws of the Hebrew Bible where sacrifice was tied up with their notions of ritual purity and impurity, or in Greco-Roman religions where sacrifice was seen as a form of exchange to curry good favor with the gods. Smith concludes that these complex notions of purity or exchange point to domestication being a prerequisite for animal sacrifice, and therefore animal sacrifice must date to after the Paleolithic period, when these hunter-gatherer societies started to raise animals. And the archaeological evidence seems to follow. In Jordan, archaeologists found a complete cow with an unborn calf buried near a human. The cow was butchered and arranged in such a way that make archaeologists think it was a ritualized slaughter. But our best evidence comes from the Neolithic site Chattelhoyek, where they found a human burial with a young lamb. Based on how the lamb was buried, it must have been held up by the legs as the human was buried so that the lamb's body would not fall across the human body. This suggests that the lamb might have been intentionally killed as an offering to include in this human burial. Although we can't be certain, this archaeological evidence seems to point to the Neolithic period as the origins for animal sacrifice. Stay tuned for the next video and we'll see the theory behind animal sacrifice. Why did humans do this? But until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.